far as I know, she's running a meth lab out of her basement. She's a kindergarten teacher. To check the patient's home. You're a doctor? Yeah, just break into someone's house. Oh, Cameron, mm -hmm. I need you for a couple of hours. What's up? When you break into someone's house, it's always better to have a white chick with you. Heather's house? Why don't we just ask her for her keys? For all we know, she'd be running a meth lab out of her basement. She choked on soft, wet pear. But she forgets to take the bones out. You always eat during break-ins? Am I supposed to respect their food more than I respect their DVD players? You want some? He thinks it's TV. He wants a second opinion. Second to his own. OK. It's not TV. What is it? Oh, he wants specifics. Tell him that he's an idiot. He's not an idiot. <sighs> sure you say that now, while he's in the room. Look, I don't have time for this. It's TV. Nope. It's TV, and I'm not dying. I'm gonna want you to plan a PPD and induce a sputum to confirm the TB. You've forgotten all about doing a differential diagnosis. You just sent us off to test him for... What? Well, I had to get him out of there. Now we can all sit around and call him an idiot. Who wants to go first? He's right. Tuberculosis can present hundreds of different ways. Every minute that we refuse to love one another, another puppy cries another tear. You're just mad because he's closer to a Nobel Prize than you are? Nobel invented dynamite. I won't accept his blood money. He's got TB. Well, of course he's got TB. The guy's been in the jungle for 20 years. I did a test. It was positive. Why is that a problem? Because now he's got the big red target on his arm. The stubborn jerk thinks he's right. He won't let us do any more tests. Well, maybe he's not the only stubborn jerk. <sighs> I did it. You're right. We gotta treat the TB. Who knows? Maybe he'll just get better. You'd like that, wouldn't you? You were wrong. Hey, I have feelings. I'm trying my best. Isn't that enough for you? You're gonna report me? What choice do I have? Uh, how about not report me? I can justify keeping her here for a 24-hour observation. If you haven't found an underlying cause of the cardiac arrest by then, I will have to notify our attorneys. Her immune system is severely compromised. Oh, I know. Prednisone compromises the immune system. Isn't that the medicine that you gave her for that thing she doesn't have? Yeah, but... Hey... I'm thinking that's a trick question. Okay. In 10 seconds, I'm going to announce that I gave her the wrong dose in the clinic. You're going to admit negligence? Unless you leave the room. If you stay, you'll have to testify. Five, four, three, two. So there I was in the clinic, drunk. I open the drawer, close my eyes, take the first syringe I can find. What's this, hemlock? It's figwort tea. Unfortunately, if you then get injected with even 0.1 cc of epinephrine, instant cardiac arrest. Still, what the hell, it tastes great. Told you I didn't screw up. You screwed up. I gave her 0.1 cc of epinephrine. You screwed up. Dr. House. Sorry, done for the day. Your letter says that we'd see you. Not a big letter writer. Here. When did my signature get so girly? Well then, Dave. Dan. There was trauma. I got hit in the head during a lacrosse game. Did you know that he got hit in the head? They didn't mention it, no. Yeah. Why bother? Anyone think this differential diagnosis might be compromised because we don't have an accurate family history? I took an accurate family history. You didn't even take an accurate family. His father's not his father. Why would you say that? Who cares? Get on with the differential diagnosis? 50 bucks says I'm right. I'll take your money. Hit a nerve? Don't worry, Foreman. I'm sure the guy who tucked you in at night was your daddy. Make it 100. Is there a paternity bet on the father of the patient? Doesn't sound like me. Well, it does, actually. It doesn't mean you're guilty. You think? I saw the parents in the lobby. Smart money's obviously on the father. My guy knows a guy who can get you in for 50 bucks. Fine. Tell your guy if I win, you attend the faculty symposium and you wear a tie. And if I win, no clinic hours for a week. My guy will call your guy. Go hold his hand. I'll bust your tray. Got any sample bags on you? I don't believe you. You're gonna run DNA tests? I know, it's terrible. You're an ass. Yeah? You want to double the bet? You idiots. You lied to me. We didn't lie about anything. You, on the other hand, accused us of molesting our son. Perfect. Couldn't we get off my screw-ups and focus on theirs? Theirs is bigger. 
You're not Dan's parents. How did you find out about this? I sampled their DNA. We would give you any DNA. Your coffee cups from the cafeteria. You can't do that. Again? Why are we getting hung up on what I did? You can't order a $3,200 DNA test to win a bet. Dr. House is alleged to have forced a tube down Mr. Zhao's throat against his will. A medical tube saving his life. The DNR order was witnessed by Dr. House's own staff, uh, 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 Dr. Foreman. My staff are idiots. I'm sure you know what it's like, Your Honor. Sit down. I don't do speeches. I'm shy. Eastbrook Pharmaceuticals has developed a new ACE inhibitor. I would like you to extol the virtues of this breakthrough medication. Eastbrook Pharmaceuticals? Wait a second, don't I own that company? Oh, no, that's right, you do. You can either give one 10-minute talk and one three-minute diagnosis, or you can fire one of your pets. Want to cut into his brain? Dangerous, I know. Especially since he's a politician and his brain's all twisted. You're not doing a brain biopsy based on a spot on an MRI. Where'd you get that? Brain biopsy can cause permanent neurological damage. Uh-huh, whereas tumors are really good for brains, make them grow big and strong. This is how Vogler is going to destroy me. What did he do, grease your can? He had my patients arrested. Uh, no, he didn't. I did. A few key points I want you to cover during your speech. The audience will be comatose by paragraph two. I want a joke. House never gives speeches. But when I really believe in something, gosh dang it, I got a chance to make a difference here. So what's the deal? You get to keep all of us if you flog his products? One speech, no biggie. Thank you for the speech. He gave you a choice. You chose your staff. Only you could feel like crap about doing something good. It means something to me to be grateful for what I receive. naive atheist I've ever met. You know how I know that the new ACE inhibitor is good? Because the old one was good. The new one is really the same, just more expensive. One of his drugs is about to lose its patent. He has his boys and girls alter it just a tiny bit, patent it all over again, making not just a pointless new pill, but millions and millions of dollars. Which is good for everybody, right? It's for the patients, but who cares? They're just so damn sick. God obviously never liked them anyway. All the healthy people in the room. Let's have a big round of applause for Ed Vogler. Thanks for my joke. Boom! Ha! There you are. I'm looking everywhere for you. Uh, listen, you said that I had to cut one of my people if I didn't give that speech about your grog. And uh, in fairness to your point of view, my speech really wasn't the one you had in mind, so I cut Cameron. Now we're all squared away, right? In the morning, I expect you in my office with your letter of resignation and plans for a public apology. Otherwise, I'll destroy you. So that's a no on us being squared away. How is Cameron handling everything? Just fine. Great. Glad we talked. You're abrasive and rude. But I figured everything you do, you do it to help people. But I was wrong. You know, most people who think as much of themselves as you do like to talk about themselves. Most people don't like to listen. So what's wrong with you? Are you being intentionally dense? Huh?